Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Kim here. And I um today I'm still working on these um jewelry wannabes. These are all those flat back pieces that were big blobby earrings and some little ones with the uh, backs broken off of them. And that little flower is still kicking around here. <laughs> Anyway, I, I uh, today is Saturday and it is my um, arm's length art day. And I figured, ah, you know what? I'm just going to keep working on these things because I want to get them all done before the next uh, week. And so I started playing with these die cuts. And I've what I've done is I've cut out three layers uh, in black cardstock to create the back. And then I'm gluing them down one on top of each other. And then I picked a color of paper that I really liked. Because I was going to do stuff with fabric again. But I, you know what? I, I just found a whole bunch of glitzy papers and started playing with some die cuts of mine that I've had for years. And uh, I figured this, this is going to work for me. So once I've got the three layers down, I'm gluing a kind of a top layer over top that complements whatever it is I want to put on top of it. So if you can see that there, what's going to happen is, <clears throat> excuse me, when it's all glued together, I will have all the little holes from this filigree paper, the die cut pattern that I can dangle all kinds of fun things from it. And doing the four layers gives it a really a lot of strength. Now I've got a few done here where they're put together already. Um, they're still a little bit warpy because they're still damp inside. But, you know, you take this ugly blobby earring that I have and then you, you place it on top of here. And what a difference that makes, isn't it? Um, and so now this gives me so much more opportunity to turn this into a fancy dangle because I can, I can add things on the bottom, on the sides, and then still do something from the top. I can put a tassel here or beads or jewelry or whatever I like. But what a difference that makes from this ugly earring. I mean, it's not super ugly, but it's not something I would wear. <laughs> and and then to put it in here now, it I'm creating this fun piece of jewelry. So I just started matching them up with different papers. Like here's this, this earring here. It was one of a kind. I wish I had two of them because I love how it turned out with this this paper uh, just by adding that on top. Now I plan to further embellish these yet. They're, they're not done by any means and I have to of course glue them all down before next week so that we can start our dangles class. But um, I just thought I would share this with you so you can see uh, how easy it is to, to um, make some uh, cardstock paper thicker and it becomes almost like a filigree piece that you can use in your art. And you could take it one step further. You could varnish over top or paint over top of them if you want to use some kind of paper that's not your favorite paper. Um, you can collage on paper and then die cut it. It Because these are those really thin little dies, you can't do real super thick things. So you do have to go back and layer them and, and glue each layer down. So this is, I'm just going to bring the tray over so you can see a little bit better. This is where I'm at. I have to still glue these down. Um, those were the ones I did in the bottle caps yesterday. And I just thought, yeah, you know, I don't want all of them, all of them to be in bottle caps. So I'm just going to add these different things on on top here. And this one here is so cute too. A gold paper. And then I just put this on top. And it's really, really sweet. So I think these are going to turn out very nice. All of this has to be glued down with my um, uh, E6000 glue or goop, if that's what you have, or anything that's a real uh, heavy-duty glue. And I will still reinforce it with a little bit of hot glue to make sure that it holds it in place while it's uh, setting. So all of these will be done for next week. But I just and and so these ones here, I've I've picked out which is the top paper, but I still have to add the three layers of. Um, just plain black cardstock underneath and then once they're hardened they will be uh really nicely uh nice and stiff like a like a chipboard almost so to glue them um i'm just going to show you quickly how i glued these and it's not rocket science or anything like that it's just that there is a bit of a technique when you want to glue these so i have one of these glue spreader tools 
you know, it's just a silicone brush. You can pick this up in the cooking departments, I think, or in the makeup departments uh, at the dollar store. So they're very inexpensive to buy. And I'm just using my regular white glue uh, uh, to glue them down. So what I'm doing is, uh, the other thing is you got to make sure you've got all your little bits poked out of there because you know, there's always a few hanger-ons uh, things that, that uh, don't quite leave. <laughs> um, maybe I should work on the white side of this just so you can see a little bit better. There we go. So I just, oh, you know, holding on to it a little bit with my finger, I just blob the glue on. Uh, into the center and then I go right over the filigree uh, part of it this more intricate part and um, spread more glue and in case you're wondering I have my my spreader in in a <laughs> roll of tape it's just perfect to hold it so so I'll, actually, I'll just leave that there so then I just take my spreader and then just holding on to the very tip of it I just start to spread the glue out to cover all the edges but you know it's going in between the holes as well so you don't want it to stick down so you got to work pretty fast and then I right away pick it up and then place my layer over top of it now you're going to have where it's not always going to line up perfectly. But, you know, it's going to have that little bit of a shadow behind it. You just have to work it the best you can. And so now that I've got the two layers and I've moved it over there, I can actually sit, uh, set it down here and press into it to hold it in place. And then I take a toothpick... And I see there's a few of these little things that I hadn't popped out. I didn't look that closely. Um, but I also pop out the glue if I see any glue in between. Um, but yeah, I had missed a couple of these little holes here. There's another one. They're so easy to miss. And then I um, turn it over and I do it again on, on the back side again. Sort of like you're doing oh, one side of the, the by putting it, these two together, and then I do this one so that these two are put together, just so that it uh, turns it over a little bit. And then again, just holding it with the tip of my fingernail here, I'm just spreading the glue. And putting a, putting a pretty good quantity on here, and then just spreading it out to the edges. And then their key is to right away pick it up. Now, if I was using the black as the finishing edge or outside edge, I think I'd have to be a little bit more concerned about how I was um, moving this around where the glue is still wet because you might have glue showing through. And then just lining these up again. Once they look like they're reasonably lined, I just move over and press them into place. And then I just double check it to make sure there is no um, glue stuck in the little holes because you're going to be wanting to be able to use those holes to, to put charms and jump rings through and stuff. So then I flip it over. So this this is the technically the good side because, you know, when you, when you die cut, they, it always has that sort of... Um, caved edge and and the rounded edge on the outside is is your good side so so that's what this is so now that I've got got it um, the three pieces glued together I just take the same thing and do the same thing with with the fourth piece but now this is the finishing piece on top so holding the tip of it So it does use a, quite a bit of glue to do this, but it this is, seems to be the easiest way to do it. Now, you know, I've been practicing because I've done quite a few already. So so I've gotten the hang of doing this. So, so don't be too hard on yourself if it slips and slides on you the first few times. And, and I just spread it out to make sure it's on all of the piece, 
Oh, and this time it lifted up. How nice. And then hopefully I got all my holes in here. And just lining it up. And this is where you would notice the shadow of your pieces not being perfectly in line. But I wouldn't worry about it because by the time you're finished decorating these things, it's not going to be noticeable. And then just pressing it down. And then making sure there's nothing in the holes, which I see something here. And it just gives a really, really cool effect here. Like, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So once this is glued down and next week we will start, uh, you'll start to see me decorating some of these. Um, they're going to turn out really, really fun. So I'm very pleased with how they look right now. And that's just a fun little container of goodies to play with. But then I was um, looking in my weird bucket. Now, these are the pieces I still have left um, from all the stuff that we've done in the Charm Wannabes. And I'm just going to put it off to the side. It's not going to get done for this time around. I will just keep working at it until I do, uh, you know, I'll have another batch as I go along and this will just be in it as well. I had wanted to show you how to do an inset here, but I will do that next time. This uh, little... Uh, um, rhinestone piece is still here. It may go in the box for Thelma. <laughs> and I still have a couple of things to put jump rings on and a couple of smaller pieces. Like these were, um, are very thick pieces. Oops, sorry, I can't even pick them up. And I just can't quite figure out what I want to do with these yet. So I'm, I'm just going to sit on them. They, both of these came from jewelry where you know the uh, wire was fed through yeah this one as well so so these were like uh, components on a bracelet but they're they're so lumpy for such small little pieces that I want to give it a little bit more thought as to what I want to do they may end up going into my weird bucket eventually but while I was doing this and how these were turning out so nice let's stick that up there I went back to the weird bucket, and I don't know if you remember these, and I said they kind of look like a bee. Um, I had three of them, and so I took the stones out. Here's one of the stones, and here's the other one. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. So I took the stones out. So they're quite flat now, and... Um, it's not to say I won't use these for something. I just didn't find this attractive. Uh, it just didn't do anything for me. Um, so I, that's why I had stuck it in my weird bucket. I'm going to leave these um, backs uh, and, and in the weird bucket because I'm sure we'll use them for something. But I am going to take the stones out of these. I have three of them. Yeah, I have three of them. And I'm going to do this process uh, with these as well. And then I had this heart that was broken off of something. A broken heart. Imagine that, eh? Um, and so I'm going to also glue this down to one of these little... I'm just going to get one to show you. Mm, maybe the black one. So I think I'm going to glue that down to there and then maybe add something on top of it afterwards as an, a further embellishment. So, so yeah, I've, I'm pulling these out to do those as well. And then the same with these black uh, stones that are, that are in these um, big uh, settings. By the time I pulled them out, they were pretty flat-backed and not as intense. So I think I'm going to save those and uh, do the same thing. Maybe it may be not get done this time around, but I really like this process. Same with this big pearly thing. I, I may consider doing that as well. So even though they're in the weird bucket right now, um, they, they could move out of there and, and become charm wannabes uh, as well. So it just shows you that the more you play around with this stuff, the more ideas you can come up with. And there's more of these big blobs in here too that I haven't even explored uh, the possibilities of doing that. So I will come back and revisit this, this bucket of goodies 
and uh, who knows, maybe we're going to get it all used up in no time at all. But for sure I'm going to do these ones, so that's that's coming out of there right now. And so I will continue now to work on all of these little bits and pieces and get them all glued together. Um, so if you have fancy die cuts, now when I bought these, you know, it's I've had them for a long, long time. I just haven't revisited for a while. And so when I bought these, I believe this was a set of um, square nesting um, dies, metal dies. I I know I didn't buy them at you know um, a regular company that sells those things. I probably bought them at you know AliExpress or Timu or or Globeland, one of those those companies because you know I won't spend a whole lot of money on this stuff. We don't use it enough to to warrant spending huge dollars on it. Um, but so I bought them a while back, but I'm sure there are other nesting dies that have this intricate work that you could find to, to, uh, continue to do stuff like that. Another thing I have is I have a set of those little paper doily ones that make these uh, cute little doilies and you can pile those on top of each other the same way. Uh, and then have a finishing one. I think I did do one in this color. Yeah. In this uh, style. So you can still have a finishing one on top on that as well and create the same effect to, um, so maybe you have some of those doilies. Isn't that cute? Just so cute. So easy. Um, so, so yeah, that, that is what I'm planning. Oh, I like that one too. Uh, that is what I'm planning to do is to finish off what I have here between now and, um, next Tuesday. So then I can show you the whole thing when they're all glued together and ready to go. Um, there is also this earring and I hope you can see it. It is the one that has this little hook up here, um, to close it. I think what I'm going to do, if you can see the hook is I'm going to cut it just a little bit shorter. So it's not sticking out past the closure. Cause there is a, a pretty good little closure on here that it's not going to come undone. Um, cause this went into your ear, right? So I'm just going to cut off that little piece there that's sticking out. And then I, I again have the set of three square ones here that I'm going to use. And then I had one, it's a little bit more sort of embossed. Um, I hadn't embossed it myself, but it was a little bit more embossed type paper, handmade paper. So I will glue those four together. And then I will probably glue this on top or maybe even stitch it uh, there to catch it. Um, but or or just use a jump ring because I think I can probably line up a jump ring through those holes to catch this. But I just thought that is such a cute, cute charm. And then, you know, because it's got the black background and it's this brassy color, um, there are so many possibilities of things that I can add on to here in my charms and stuff that I have in my collection. So, yeah, and, and then, you know, you start seeing, and and I like showing you this because this just gets me excited to, to play even more, but you start seeing some of this chain in here. And um, the next thing you know, you've got a really fun charm that really cost you pennies to put together. And um, and we're going to do these because this, this is going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to continue to work on my pieces. It, it is um, Saturday. It is my arm's length art. I haven't gone on Facebook and I haven't posted anything on Facebook uh, today. I just needed some time out and um, we were supposed to have a garage sale, but the weather was kind of crazy today. So, or like a yard sale. Um, so we'll probably plan it for next week instead. So I just thought, you know what? I need some quiet time and time out and I'm just going to sit and work on these. And this has uh, rejuvenated me a little bit and, uh, you know, given me uh, uh, new uh, inspiration. So I'm hoping I will have all of these done to show you by next Tuesday. So that's it. That's all for my little video. I wish you all a creative weekend. I will be uh, headed to the market on Sunday uh, and hopefully I will have some fun finds to show you. I'll probably do that on, on Monday because I missed doing my thrifty Canucks this week. So I'll try to do a, a one, of, one for you on uh, Monday. So that's it. That's all. Talk to you all soon. Bye for now.